All right, so one of the first things that I'm gonna show you today is how to trim toenails. Um, a lot of people are really scared about this because um, people have had the negative experience of cutting too far up and making their pet bleed. Um, or a lot of dogs and cats are you know, very reactive to getting their nails trimmed, either because they've had that negative experience and they're afraid of pain, or you know, we forget that when we're grabbing their feet, it's like somebody putting your hands behind your back or restraining you from getting away, that sometimes it can be a little scary. So if you have one of those pets, I don't recommend just immediately watching this video and then just jumping on top of them and trimming their nails. That over the next few days to a week, start working with them, you know, pet their toes, offer them treats while you do it. Um, you know, have your, you know, if you have another family member to help you, you know, get them used to having somebody else kind of holding them and touching them while you touch their feet. And it's gonna help ease that anxiety. If you have a pet that you're afraid is going to flail and hurt themselves or try to bite, we are still um, open, we're still dispensing medications. Um, we are all about things being as fear-free as possible. You may wanna call in and think about getting a little bit of anti-anxiety medication for them. This goes for both cats and dogs that could help with that. So, first little anatomy lesson. So, this is my beautiful toenail toe that I drew. Hopefully you know what this, this doesn't look too foreign. Um, so this is basically your dog or your cat's toe. This is the nail, and then inside the nail, there's the quick. So if you look at your own fingernails, you have the part that's kind of the white nail part, and then you have the pink part where it gets connected to your fingertip. That's basically what we're looking at here. So you have the hard outer nail, and then inside of it, you have the pink quick, which is the blood vessels that supply um, that nail. Um, when we're trimming toenails, our goal is to, of course, trim back this hard part of the nail and try to leave just enough. So I'll make two little marks there, you know, just enough left over because when you trim your own fingernails really short, like I do for myself, it hurts. You know, if I go to try to pick something or use my fingernails, it really hurts. It's really sensitive. So you want to leave a little bit behind um, and only trim the, the hard part. If you're lucky and your pets have a clear or a white nail, you can actually look at it and distinctly see the, you know, the, the nail portion and then where that quick begins. If you have the unfortunate uh, opportunity to have a pet that has dark nails, it's a guess. So you, you know, kind of have to go very slowly and only take a little bit at a time. Um, sometimes here in the clinic we'll be trimming and we accidentally quick them or we cut too high and they'll begin to bleed. If that happens at home, don't panic. Your pet may be uncomfortable. You may see drops of blood on the floor. Again, don't panic. They're not gonna bleed out. They're not gonna die from something like that. What you can do is go into your cabinet, grab some flour, some cornstarch, and gently dab the tip of the nail and hold a little bit of gentle pressure. Um, again, we are still here, so if you're really unsure what to do or you're really scared you hurt them, um, you know, please don't hesitate to call us. So again, when you go to trim, you know, we're focusing on this outer part of the nail. Take little, little bites slowly. Don't just go to the end of the nail and just go ahead and lop it off because you're definitely gonna make them bleed, cause them pain, and it's not gonna be fun for anybody. Um, so little nips at a time. Um, again, especially if you have a nervous dog or a cat, find them when they're asleep and they're relaxed and just kind of gently start trimming the very tips of their nails. It's gonna take time. Um, but it sounds like we might be stuck inside for a little while, so you have time to work on it. Um, you know, so just go very slowly. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to do this with Mr. Nash. All right, so this is the treat technique. So in your home, you know, if you have a refrigerator, if you have a, um, a blank wall, um, you can either smear some food onto an area like this, like this is something we can clean, or tape up um, a paper plate and you can smear, come here. So we'll smear a little bit of peanut butter up here. Check it out. Nash, look, look, peanut butter. So he's having a fabulous time eating his peanut butter. Come here, buddy. Come on. See, and this is what's gonna happen at home. You know, this is not supposed to be a perfect situation because that's not helpful. You know, you're gonna experience your pet being like, okay, what are you doing? This is weird. Here, look. Look, it's just more peanut butter, right? 
or just might think about trimming your nails. You know, he quickly figured out what I was up to, so maybe the stand and lick peanut butter situation wasn't as easy. Um, you know, if his owner was here, you know, maybe having somebody pet his head and talking to him would be less scary. Um, Nash is really a nice guy, so he just kind of laid down to let me do some belly rubs. So this is another way you could do it at home where I'm just rubbing his belly and talking to him, and I'm just gonna gently hold on to his paw. Um, so I'm going to put just a little bit of gentle pressure on the toe just to expose the nail. So Nash's nails are actually pretty nice. He's got a little tip on them. So I'm just gonna grab my nail trimmers. It's okay, buddy. And if you look, I am not going here to trim. That's way too far up. I'm gonna start with just a little tip and he handled that like a champion. And I'm gonna do another couple little, little nips. And for that one, he goes, okay, that's getting a little bit closer. And that tells me I'm gonna move on instead of pushing it any further because his quicks are probably maybe just a few millimeters away from where I trimmed. So again, I'm gonna move on to his next toe. I'm just putting some gentle pressure right below the little paw pad that helps to expose the nail. And again, I'm just gonna take a little nip, no big deal. practice you know even with me here trying to go comfortable and go slowly I'm not his owner um you know again most dogs and cats are not thrilled with this so just take it easy you know you can catch them when they're taking a nap or relaxing and you're probably going to have to do it in multiple sessions um you might get lucky and they might like the whole smearing food on the wall or on like a paper plate and that might be enough to distract them to do it so don't give up if this isn't a grooming salon where we're going to get it done in 30 seconds um especially if your pet's not used to you doing it at home go slowly so again you're just taking teeny nips off the tips and if you have to do a couple nails a day or even one nail a day you're at least keeping up with it and not letting it grow to the point where you're going to be clicking on the floor or even developing um, limping from it because you can't get to the groomer or to your technician's appointment